G'day, Darren Edwards here from Trail Hiking Australia. Today I wanted to show you the Skybed Bug Free by Hammock Bliss. Now it's a flat, gathered end hammock with bu built in bug protection. The main construction of this hammock is with a ripstop uh, nylon, with the top being a no CM uh, mesh with 2100 holes per square inch, I believe. So um, it's a fairly fine mesh that'll let the hammock breathe lets the airflow through, uh, but won't let any, any bugs or critters in during the night. Um, being a mesh topped hammock, obviously this is not something you'd use in winter or uh, rainy weather. Really suitable for um, nice days like tonight when you know the evenings are gonna be warm with fairly high dew point, uh, so that you're not gonna get wet uh, whilst in the hammock. So I'll bring the camera in a bit closer um, just to give you a bit better of a look at it and we'll talk about a few of the features. Anytime I've thought of sleeping in a hammock, I've always had two fears. One is that the tree straps will fail during the night and you'll find yourself lying flat on your back on the ground. The other is that you'll spend the entire night in the fetal position because most hammocks don't offer any support in the base to keep the bed flat. The Sky Bed Bug Free comes with deluxe clinching tree straps. It's a wide webbing with a 225 kilo rating and a heavy duty metal uh, clinching buckle. To set the hammock up, uh, which I won't show you now, um, it's a simple case of wrapping the, the webbing around the tree. Depending on the tree uh, thickness or width, you have about two and a half meters of webbing here uh, that you can wrap around the tree or on smaller, smoother trees or even poles. You can wrap this webbing around um, a couple of times or two or three times before passing it back through the buckle um, and pulling it nice and tight. From there, it's a simple case of grabbing the heavy duty cords that are attached to the end of the hammock, passing them through these two individual loops and doing a simple knot um, in much the same way you would uh, tie your shoelaces just to secure uh, the hammock. Now, there's really not much more required than that. Um, you could if you want to tie a double knot, but it's, um, in my experience, not really necessary. So you have one of these straps on the either end. So it's a simple case of fastening a strap to either end of the, um, the tree and the hammock and pulling it all nice and tight. On top of the no CM mesh, uh, I have this tiny little pocket here. There's, there's one each end uh, that contains this length of cord. Again, you've got about two and a half meters of cord there. And at either end of the hammock, you'll find these two little yellow loops. Um, what these are for is for pulling the no CM mesh away from your face so that when you're lying back in the hammock, you can see the mes mesh um, is nicely pulled up away from your head so that you've got plenty of room inside. I mentioned before that one of my concerns with the hammock um, is that you'll spend all night lying in the uh, fetal position. Inside the Skybed Bug Free, uh, if I just flick the mesh out of the way, you can see the silver sleeve. Um, that's manufactured from parachute material, so it's heavy duty, um, tear resistant in much the same way as the rest of the construction is. And what this sleeve is for, um, is for inserting your inflatable thermarest or inflatable air bed. Um, you just need to be fairly certain about the size that you're gonna put in there because not all air beds will fit. Um, it is a fairly narrow uh, sleeve but I was fortunate the one I have uh, fits inside perfectly. One thing you'll notice with this hammock is that the inner sleeve compartment actually sits diagonally across um, the actual hammock itself. So the head starts over this side and the actual foot of the uh, sleeve ends up on the opposite side of the hammock. Now the reason for that is if we were actually to rotate that so that it was running lengthways across the hammock, you would end up sleeping in the fetal position all night. Uh, so the advantage of actually running the, the bed diagonal is that it actually produces quite a flat surface when you're lying in there. I'll jump in the hammock uh, shortly and I'll actually show you exactly how flat you lie because it's, it's quite a comfortable experience and um, one that I was quite surprised with to be honest. Now inside the actual hammock, um, at either end, we have these little gear, gear pockets. Uh, so each of the pockets is divided into a smaller pocket and a larger pocket. Um, that's great for storing all your personal things um, inside at night. 
and there's another one down the other end um, of the hammock here. You also have the advantage on the outside, if you want to store things outside, um, the actual pocket or little pouch that the hammock comes in um, can then be utilised on the outside to store additional things. I'm going to jump in the hammock now um, just to show you exactly how flat it does lie um, when I'm in there. Now, when you're sitting up the hammock, it's very important that you try and get the height that you want the hammock, a nice comfortable height so that you can just sit down um, into it. You don't want to be falling down to the hammock, you don't want to be trying to climb up into the hammock. Um, so obviously when you're setting the hammock up, you need to consider that for whoever's going to be utilising it. So in order to get into the hammock, it's a simple case of sitting on the edge like this. And just rotate my feet around. Let me take the shoes off. And that's me lying in the hammock. If I was going to sleep, I could just grab the zippers on the mesh, pull that shut, and it's quite roomy and comfortable inside. Um, there's plenty, plenty of space here. I feel like I'm lying really relatively flat. Um, up where my head is, it tends to pop up a little bit, um, but that's great because I don't actually need a pillow. All I need really is a lightweight blanket um, over the top of me just to keep me warm. So in order to get out of the hammock, it's exactly the reverse. Um, leave your bum where it is, rotate your feet around, and you can simply stand up. So when you first hop in the hammock, if you feel like it is sagging too much and you need it a little bit flatter, it's just a simple case of going up to your end straps, undoing that nut that you tied, tensioning up the hammock so that it lies a little bit flatter, um, and you can do all your adjusting from there. Likewise, if you feel like your head's too high or your feet are too high, um, you can simply adjust the strapping on the end, slide it up and down the tree as, as necessary in order to get the most comfortable night's sleep. Now, what I wanted to show you was um, actually packing up the hammock. Uh, I didn't show you how to set it up, but the, the setup is obviously going to be the reverse of what I'm about to show you now. Um, it just shows how quick and simple it is to pack away. So what we start with is um, I'm pulling out the airbed. You can either deflate that first if you wanted to. Um, I find just as easy to pull the airbed out. So you can see that's the mattress I was using. Uh, it's quite a narrow thermo rest one. Pop it over there. So firstly, I always just zip up the zips. Uh, same with if I'm hiking or, or camping in a tent, I always zip the zips up just to make it easier to set up next time. Undo the strapping from the top. We can grab those little straps and quickly put them away into their little, neat little pockets. It's a really handy feature this actually because um, a lot of tents that you hike with, you end up with guy ropes hanging everywhere and there's not, nothing really to contain them and things get all tangled up and nothing worse than untangling ropes. So um, th those little straps just pack away nice and neatly there. I'll undo the same from the other end. into that little packet and now all we, need, all we do is simply untie the shoelace knot that we've tied at the end if it was a double knot you could untie the double knot but um, this is just a single so just pull on those cords and that lowers that end of the hammock to the ground likewise on this side and the advantage of tying that shoelace knot for want of a better term, um, is the fact that it's really, really easy to undo. It doesn't matter how much tension you're going to put on the hammock. It makes it quite simple and easy to pack up. Now, in order to pack the hammock away, um, we have a little bag that's attached to it. It's just a simple case of stuffing everything back into that bag. Uh, always good to make sure that as you're doing that, you're sort of pulling any twigs and things off or any grasses and bugs. Uh, that you might have picked up while it was lying on the ground. So we simply stuff that back in there. Then I'll just do the ropes up so they're a bit neater. And there's a sky bed bug free by Hammock Bliss. Uh, so just bear with me one second while I take the tree straps down. 
it's a quick release buckle, so it's nice and easy. It's quite a, quite a breeze actually to set up. There's one strap. Two straps and we're done. So all up, the Skybed Bug Free by Hammock Bliss weighs about 870 grams. The Deluxe Quenching Tree Straps weigh about 260 grams. Um, they're not really necessary. You can actually just use rope to put around the tree, but it's highly advisable uh, that you invest in some good quality straps, just for peace of mind that you're gonna actually stay up um, during the night and also to protect the trees. Um, the, these straps do minimal damage to um, the trees, whereas putting ropes and things around um, will actually damage the bark and essentially damage the tree. So that's the Hammock Bliss Skybed Bug Free. Look, I'm really happy um, with the hammock. It, it feels really comfortable. It's very, very comfortable to sleep in. Keeps the bugs out um, and does everything that it's supposed to do. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in hammocks for sleeping during the, the warmer weather, uh, certainly check these guys out. That's Darren Edwards from Trail Hacking Australia. Uh, hope you enjoyed this review.